Today we are back with a homeowner series on the Squirrel Farms map in FS17. It will be a very busy day around the property. Today we will be bringing the RV back here for storage. We'll be taking all of the boats out of water. We'll be bringing the F-350 and the snowmobile to the dealership for service. And finally, once everything is complete, we'll go for a ride in the Porsche. This was a really highly requested video and I'm excited to be back here with a series in FS17. Let's head out over to the garage and get going on the list of things for today. Up first I want to get the F-150 warmed up and ready to go and then we'll head back to the pole barn and do a few things before we head on out. The RV is currently over at the campgrounds and the season is over. We'll be bringing them back here for storage at the pole barn. Before we can get to any of the boat trailers, we will have to move the F-350. While we are in it, we'll get attached to the enclosed trailer, get the snowmobile ready to go. And a little bit later on today, uh, we'll bring it by. The F-350 does need a service and a few things checked over wires wise and the snowmobile we bought last year and haven't used uh, since and I wanted to get that ready to go and I want to do it before everyone else does it that way uh, we don't have to wait a few months to get it back. If you guys would like to see more homeowner series back here in FS17 please let me know and leave a like as well. I really do enjoy this series and we actually haven't done a video back here in a few weeks to a month so it's nice to be back here with the property. Now hopefully the uh, snowmobile will fire right up. Now when I do put things away for the season I do put a little bit of gas preservative in it so that the d gas does not go bad and it looks like that worked on this. Let's see if we get loaded up and we have a problem there with the ramp. Let's kind of see if we can. Uh, maybe disconnect it. Yeah, there we go. It's a little bit higher once you jack it up. So that will probably do it. Yep, yeah, there we go. Now the dealership is letting us keep the enclosed trailer over there while we are having everything serviced. That way we don't have to make a trip just to get the trailer back. Awesome. So this is ready to go. So I think we'll just kind of park it right here. We'll be using the 2018 F-150 for the jet ski trailer, and then we'll be using the Denali for the others. The boats are just too big, and since we have that truck, we might as well use that extra power. Our first trip over to the campgrounds, we'll hop in the RV and we'll bring it back. I hope everyone's having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below. My day's been going pretty good so far. Hopefully the temperatures warm up for a few more weeks before all of the cold uh, weather comes. I still really do enjoy FS17. It has quite a lot of mods and features that 19 currently does not have. And I think we'll be featuring it more and more within the coming months. This 2018 F-150 is in ruby red with a spore package. I really do like the uh, 18 F-150s. They do look pretty nice. We do have three boats to get out the speed boat, the jet ski, and also a center console. We'll leave the F-150 here for a bit as we walk down here and get in the RV. Now I did come down a few weeks ago, got the stabilizers off, got everything disconnected and it should be ready to go for storage. We just got to bring it by the house. If you guys have not already, I do recommend you go over to Instagram and give me a follow at square2448. I do post some pretty cool sneak uh, peeks, daily pictures, and other cool things about the channel. Hopefully we could get a mobile home RV like this here in FS19. I still want some of the mods even featured in today's video in uh, the new version of Farming Simulator. Hopefully that does happen because uh, uh, all of these mods are awesome. 
this was a quick and easy thing just to bring it back over here and get it parked underneath the uh, pole barn. Now we do have to close up the swimming pool for the season as well. That is going to be quite a lot of work. We'll probably drain uh, a few feet of the water and get it covered and get it ready to go. And a little bit further back. Perfect. And we are back over here to the F-150. Let's get it backed in and let's get going on taking these out of water. Now this is a ton of work I will have to say. But we'll just put it in the pole barn for now and then I will probably come back during the week and do a few things to them. But other than that, uh, uh, boats in general are a lot of work. But having three of them and taking them all out the same day is a very long day. We will be back with the lake house soon. I thought that we would do a throwback to this uh, one since we have to take the boats out and there was some other things that we had to do here. Now this F-150 is rated to tow just over 12,000 pounds. I was thinking about using this for all the other ones but since we have the bigger truck why don't we use it and it's a little bit easier as well. I hope everyone has been having a great school year so far. We are getting closer and closer to the holidays, which is pretty exciting. And I have been a bit busy with schoolwork lately, but I really do enjoy uh, my classes and uh, what I'm learning. Now if we do continue these FS17 homeowner series, I definitely want to move to a new house and also to a new map. I have a map picked out and I think that would be a pretty nice thing to do. So I think for now let's kind of just leave the uh, jet ski attached because we have to put it in front of one of the other trailers. So that's good there. Let's hop in the Denali. Now this truck, uh, we purchased it for just over $80,000. It's a very expensive truck, fully loaded, and it's uh, well worth the money. I, it's a very comfy truck as well. Let's see, I think we'll do the uh, speedboat first, get the big boats out of the way, and then we'll do the small boat. Like I have touched upon, once we are done with everything today, we'll be taking the Porsche out for a spin. We only have a few more weeks and probably just about a month left uh, before we'll be putting those cars away for the winter. I don't want to take them out during the salt, during the cold. Uh, too cold is probably not too good on those engines. This Denali looks so sweet, especially being a Dually 3500. It just looks so nice. Big shout goes out to all of the mod creators in the community for the hard work. Hopefully we do get more and more modders coming in and everyone uh, making great mods. Now we did go out on the boats quite a lot this season, just about every uh, weekend we went out. And I think the trailer should be good to go, we might have to do a few adjustments, maybe go a little bit deeper into the water. Now this speedboat here just has over a thousand horsepower, two diesels, and that is pretty awesome. Caterpillar diesels to, to be more specific. Let's see if it's going to work on the first try, and it is not. Let's kind of see why. There we go. Took a few tries to get the right area, but it looks like we got it, and the boat is uh, drifting a little bit. Now, putting boats on the trailer is a very tricky thing, and uh, it takes a lot of time to do it right. Perfect. Perfect. 
once we are done taking these out of water, I definitely want to wash this truck. I don't want that salt water uh, being left on the truck to rust it out. This upcoming week, we do have quite a lot of cool things coming to the channel. We do have a few extra videos coming as well with a few new series in FS19. And if you do have any cool ideas here for me, let me know. I really do enjoy responding to you guys in the comments, interacting with you, and just having a great time making videos and uh, using your positive feedback to help build the channel even more. This will be a tight squeeze getting this back into place, but I don't think we'll have any problems. Now you guys can see back there, we do have a first gen Dodge, original paint, original everything on it that we picked up and we are going to probably just collect it. I was thinking about modifying it, but I think it's too nice to do that. Let's get the last trailer here, the 20 foot uh, center console. Let me know down below in the comments, guys, what is your favorite GM truck, Chevy, or a GMC? What model year and also what variation options on it would you guys like? I really do like the new uh, Denali's, but I also do like the previous uh, Silverado's that recently uh, just got switched out for the latest version. This is a long process, but we are just about over with all these boats. And I believe the trailer is ready to go. This is the last one. The last time we'll be coming back here to the marina for a little bit. I think we might do some winter camping, but other than that, uh, we probably won't be doing a f any more camping uh, just because we are so busy. Perfect. Now this is a 20 foot center console with twin uh, 150s on it, so 300 horsepower. That's pretty fast here for this. This Denali does such a great job. Now boats, even though they're really big, uh, they really don't weigh that much. I mean, this trailer and boat all together weighs just around 3,500 pounds for a 20-foot boat. The speedboat, just because of how big it was, weighed around 6,000 with the trailer. And it is helpful that the trailers are aluminum and not steel, so that's a little bit lighter as well. The last few things we have to do today, get the jet ski put inside, bring that by the dealership, and then we could have some fun on uh, these roads with the Porsche. And I think more than likely we'll be selling the Ferrari. I really do like the Porsche, and I, I'm kind of a Porsche uh, guy. Looks like when we went up on the curb there, the boat did shift. I would definitely have to reposition this at a later time. Really do wish we could strap down tra uh, equipment on trailers. We are doing that now in 19, which is nice. Hopefully it improves even more. That looks to be good there. Let's get the Denali put under here. Now, I think for the winter, I might put the uh, plow truck here and put the Denali inside. That way, uh, the Duramax isn't out in the cold weather. Now, this pole barn here does have power and it is uh, climate controlled, so that is helpful. Perfect. 
Perfect, so we got everything done there. We'll bring the F-150 uh, around front and then it will drop this by the dealership. Now this here we use to plow our house and also our neighbors and we do have a few rental properties that we do use it for as well. Now I definitely want to get some aftermarket wheels, some modifications, headache racks, strobe lights, so many things I want to do to this as well uh, within the next month. And while uh, this is at the dealership, they said they'll also go through the trailer brakes, making sure everything is up to date on the trailer as well, which is very kind of them. And we are arriving over here at the dealership. I think we'll just kind of bring it alongside here. Don't really want to put it in uh, the way, but I think this looks to be good here. We'll drop the keys there in the uh, door slot and we'll head on back. All right, we are back over here at the house. Let's get the garage door open and get the Turbo S out for a spin. This is a Porsche 911, very cool car. One of my uh, favorite uh, Porsches other than the GT cars, but this thing looks so sweet. Let's hop on the inside and check out the interior as well. Now I really want this in FS19. Hopefully we can get it converted uh, soon. Very fast, very quick car and fun to drive. so so fast and it does have some pretty good brakes as well we'll get turned around here now i really want to find some uh roads around here to just kind of go cruising on and uh kind of see what this car can do now there is a track i believe uh, close by so we might as well uh bring it by there before the season ends and it's actually across the street from us so the next time uh people are at the track we'll stop by and and uh, have some fun Today has been a very busy day here for us back here in the FS17 Homeowner Series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more. Yeah.